I did not grow up in a tea drinking culture, so I never really knew how to get started drinking tea. So this is what I would have liked to have seen, a beginner's guide to tea. So of course, tea bags. Tea bags are a great way to start. Good for travel, easily accessible. However, the quality of tea in a tea bag is about the same, which is to say, not good. The best quality of tea we can get is from loose tea leaves. Go to a tea shop, buy some tea, and a tea strainer if you don't have one, and then store the tea in a container. And when you're ready to make tea, heat up some water, put the tea in a strainer, down in a cup of heated water, let it sit for a few minutes, and you have tea. That's not to say there's anything wrong with doing something wrong. It's good to make mistakes so we, we can learn our own way. When my girl, when my ex-girlfriend found out that I had been drinking tea with microwaved water, I was embarrassed because I had spent quite some time doing this, drinking tea the wrong way. But when I bought an electric kettle, I learned to appreciate the difference a whole lot more. Microwaving water for tea is fine, but now that I've used an electric kettle, I know that it's a lot better with a kettle. It's fine to make mistakes. It's, it's one thing to learn on your own and another to learn from hundreds of people talking about making tea online, but even better, just learning from someone you know. When it's just you and someone else, that's when it's, it's, it's like one person teaching you because they're taking time aside to say, I trust you and I hope you trust me. It's different. So, which tea should I buy is a good question. In the West, most people's tea of choice is black tea. It has more caffeine and you can have it with milk. And this is because historically speaking, black tea was a lot more safe to trade with the West. This is because black tea lasts for longer than a year. But it's a modern world now and personally, I love green tea. I think Japanese sencha green tea has an excellent taste. It has low caffeine content, which is perfect for me, but it doesn't mix well with milk. And if it's bitter, then the water is probably too hot. If you don't like the ordinary taste of tea, then there are flavored teas. But something to keep in mind is that most flavored teas are most likely not high quality tea. Historically speaking, flavored tea has been used to cover up bad tea. And even today, it's really rare to find a shop that has a good selection of high quality flavored tea. There are some things that you just have to learn on your own, like your own taste. So I'm not saying don't buy flavored tea. And if you like some, that might be worth the sacrifice. There are flavored teas that I like. I love a good peach and mango. Nevertheless, experiment on your own with different teas because there are some things people cannot teach you and you have to learn your own taste. I'm not saying you will always end up with a good result where everyone are happy. There are times when you want to feel like you want to do something for someone you love, so you buy them a tea to try out and they say, I don't like it, I don't like flavored teas, it's a bad quality tea, and you say, you haven't even tried it yet. I thought we could try it together. I just wanted to feel like I care for you and your interests. I know I don't know as much about tea as you do, but whether it's good or it's bad, I just wanted us to do something. And I wanted to feel like I contribute something because I know you love tea and I just wanted to feel like I am of any use to you at all. Matcha tea is a green tea powder. It is finely refined green tea leaves into a powder. I don't like it. I mean, it's it's fine, I'll have it if there, if there is some available, but I'd much rather have it with milk. And people will say, matcha with milk, that ruins the matcha, it ruins the taste, you won't get all the health benefits, the polyphenols stick to the milk and do not absorb into the body, but I like my matcha that way, because I like the taste. Yes, matcha is expensive, but it's my money, I like it this way, and this is how I want to drink it. Also, if you are buying tea leaves from a bag that has a hole in it to show up the leaves, or tea leaves from a store with transparent containers, it's not good tea. It's being exposed to light, which is not good. So if your favorite tea comes from a tea shop like this, then I'm not saying this to hurt you, but the tea sucks. It's just for truth. This is not a taste thing, it's just, I want you to have high quality tea. You deserve better than that. 
And you might think I don't know a lot about tea because I learned about this from you, but I thought I could be of help too. And you're saying that I'm being egotistical because you think I just wanted to say that so I could feel better than you. And you say, you don't even like tea. You become obsessed with random things for short periods, and then you never touch it again. So I don't know, is this what you wanted? Are you going to move on now? Cold brew tea is also an option. It is as simple as putting tea leaves in a bottle, leave it in the fridge for six hours, and voila, you have cold brew tea. You might want to get a specialized bottle for a cold brew so that the leaves don't get into the glass as you pour it. This is... This is actually a great option for flavored tea. People say flavored tea is bad, but I tried this and it's great if you want a glass of cold lemon tea in the summer. Or if you wake up and immediately want some peach and mango black tea because you're <laughs> too impatient to wait for it to cool down. But it's excellent. There's no guarantee that any of it will turn out great. Some flavored teas are bad for this. It's, you have to experiment on your own to make it work out. But the basics are the basics for a reason. It's simply what works. It's what you can always fall back on. Did you know that there are no health benefits to drinking tea? I'm serious. Look it up. Health effects of tea on Wikipedia. If you look up green tea on Google or on YouTube, everyone talk about how amazing green tea is. It will make you lose weight and you will stop aging and you will have beautiful skin, and there is no research that actually proves this. When it comes to tea, you can apparently just make up whatever you want to, and people will buy it and drink it anyway. But let's get real for a second. It's mostly water. There is no nutrition. So if you're drinking tea hoping this will solve all your problems, then guess what? Tea is not going to help. Tea gives you caffeine and that's it. So if you want caffeine, drink tea, drink a cup in the morning, and that's all you need. I don't, I don't even care about caffeine, all right? Some people tell you things and it's just wrong, and I had to go through the disappointment of people lying to me and learn all of this and experiment with tea, and then despite all of that, I still drink green tea anyway. Why? Because even though it was all wrong, I love a good cup of green tea. I love the taste. I could have quit right then and there, but it's not like I decided, hey, I'm going to love green tea because of this. I'm going to love green tea because it has all these benefits. You can't force yourself to love it because of some stupid reason like that. I just wanted to learn about it enough to at the very least respect it. And then you can decide, you know, maybe there is no one thing that makes me drink tea. And if I had immediately fallen in love for a single reason and acted all out of an impulse, then it wouldn't have mattered, right? If you want to love something, it takes practice. With tea.